this Angel Fall arc has been hilarious, but also very fun in the mystery, right? It's like a murder mystery, not really, but there's a lot of different things going on. The two things that I'm focused on or kind of confused about is the dad and Misha, right? Misha, Russian church girl. She was being very wary of touching Toma's right hand. Is she trying to prevent some sort of, you know, magic from being displaced? Is this the user of Angel Fault? But then there's also Dad, and Dad is being very sus. He's the only person that hasn't really swapped, you know, characters. Why is Dad also not being swapped right now? I have no clue. It's one of the two, and I feel like one is a red herring. Maybe they're both in on it together. I'm not sure. Let's begin today's reaction. <laughs> Kanzaki is also a priestess, a sage. She has a stigma. The power of God, Archangel. Wait, wait. Archangel has the power of God, but it's not actually God, right? But who cares about a God? We are Kami Jo. Our name is literally one who is above the gods or something, right? <laughs> Dad, what's going on? You're hiding shit from me, Dad. What's going on, Dad? Angel Fall. Angel Fall, start there. What's her nickname? Jinx? Is that the correct word? Is there is there a back is there a mistranslation here? Yeah. Or is it jinx literally what is supposed to be correct? Like yeah, actually like the key word. Like jinx is literally what Toma used to be called. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Well, what is a jinx? I'm not really sure. When you say something at the same time, you say jinx, got you. Or like don't jinx that as in like, you know, don't make it don't like, you know, cause some death lags for bad shit to happen. Misfortune. Harbinger of misfortune, right? Toma is very, quote-unquote, unlucky. And Index has told us that your Imagine Breaker, your power, literally contests or cancels out God's divine blessings, which you could be, which could be interpreted as luck. So, like, we're very unlucky. Even the adults are shitting on us? Okay. What did he do? Give me an example. So a bunch of people who are superstitious started being schizo because of Toma's unluckiness? Okay. Maybe they're just Delulu. Fuck their superstitions. That's right. Science. Maybe we don't need to get rid of it. So dad did this all for Toma. He is worried that Toma will never be accepted or adapted into society properly. The regular people are getting very weirded out because Toma is so unlucky, driven by the superstition. In the science world, we can cancel shit and we're still unlucky. Now we're leaning to magic for that. True. I don't know about happy, but it's more like I was never ashamed of who I was and I'll continue to walk forward. Yeah, the little chains, all the different relics that he's collected. Is it Misha? So then why are you not impacted while everyone else is? To him, everything is just normal. But to us, everything is. He's not impacted by So it really is Misha? And dad's not sus at all? Do you even know what mom looks like right now? Thank you, Pomi, for the eight month of Prime. Yeah, he's not aware of the Switch, right? Like, like, he is just like us right now. We're both just in our base. No, no, no. He's not just like us because we see all the switches. He doesn't see anything, but he hasn't even switched himself. Oh, fuck it. Misha. Blame Misha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah Misha uh oh, there it is. Where'd you show up from? Misha. 
父さんは誰とも入れ替わってない。俺が入れ替わってることにも気づいてないんだ。これって自己回答。あお。Do I get acquisition? You're gonna beat my ass with a crowbar? This is some fucking Emerson Shadow shit. She actually has just a crowbar wrench, and the other weapon she has is like a like a jagged like saw. Kanzaki. Divine orders. People of the church cannot just kill unless you've been given a divine order from, I guess, a higher-ranking person. Assume form that you switched into. It's funny. Sasha and Misha. There's also sisters, you know, like Demon King Academy, anyways. Sasha is this. Someone else basically switched into this form, right? And whoever this form used to be was normal, but no longer. This is Sasha? This is Misha. Misha, Sasha? I don't fucking know, but basically it's. Church confirmed there's a Sasha. So the, the being has switched into this fucking form that's known as Misha. <laughs> Misha got Russia Kyoka no Ningen Janai to Stara. Say Bets Mokimate or Razi. Tsunami, Lio say Karela ni tote namae to a. We getting hermaphrodites? We, we getting gender fluid here? Okay. Nuya mini tanin to Kokan de Kiro has a nai. They swap what to mate? Nani ga nani boy girl? girl boy? Angel fall. What about that? An angel has fallen to the rank of a human, which should be impossible according to the Sephiroth tree and vice versa. <laughs> Just change the weather. Nighttime, she's even stronger. Kanzaki, release your stigma. Show me your priest, saint, godlike power. It's a crystal feather. The crowbar. I still can't get over how. She looks so menacing. Look at these wings, bro. The eyes. And then the weapon of choice? A fucking crowbar. That's a lot of magic circles. A sweep. Uh, deluge of arrows that burned out into our corrupted civilizations. Basically, this is the magic that was used to just wipe out civilizations. This is her only way to get back to heaven. An angel has fallen down to a human status, I guess. But in order to get back to angel status, she needs to destroy this world. Huh? That's right. Punch her. Yep. It'll work on it. No? Not man's fight? That's pretty misandrist of you. The fuck? Men can't fight right now, right? Kanzaki's saying no. Guys cannot handle Misha. Okay, what are we doing? Okay. How do we prevent that? Where is the zone of Angel Fall being set up? Kanzaki, show me the saint form. Stigma, release. Ooh, Kanzaki! I'm liking her a lot more. All right, I trust you. Now, don't off-screen this fight, please. Don't off-screen this fight. And transition. Not yet. We're fighting. Where are the wings, though? More. Oh, fuck. As I employ my single flash, I revealed my name. Not tried her mage name. If you say your mage name, then it's like a duel to the death. This design is fucking peak. It's been fucking insane. Mage's name revealed. And off screen. You got a plan? Bloody help us out. Sacrifice. Who is sacrificing? Algami. Human versus angel. That's right. You're a whole ass saint. What the fuck? Amak's a puritanism. Uh, my form. I, I, the wiki. I need the wiki. We happen. Lower background. Lower. Okay. 
Crackdown. The original form. Shinto Buddhism. Okay. Yeah. Okay, okay. So she's not really Church of the Cross. All that shit didn't really matter, right? Whatever. Buddhism, different Shinto, different fusion. I don't care. Basically, a Church of the Cross cannot be an angel. However, she's different, right? All that yapping is to explain she is not necessarily only Church of the Cross. <laughs> Ah, shit. Kanzaki is so sick. Counter Yo, this Japanese Shinto, dude, the Japanese Shinto is kind of OP. Holy fuck. The more I hear about this Japanese Shinto, they sounding busted. They can beat angels? They can counter God? Why is there a command, thou shalt not hurt a god? Because you do have the power. You possess the power to kill a god, therefore a law exists. <laughs> oh, Kanzaki, you good? You were yapping a bit too much there. Holding back? <laughs> is the implication that Kanzaki is super strong? more strong than she thinks that she is, or that Misho right now is like holding back. We gotta basically stop Angel Fall before Kanzaki dies. I want her to release the stigma form though. I want the stigma release. I want to see the whole like power of a god, like god damn, but basically Church of the Cross, but Japanese Shinto, and Kanzaki is very, very strong to be able to even contest like the power of God and Angel. We gotta stop Angel Fall, old man. How do we do that? Is there a place where this magic is being held? Damn, bro. What if dad really didn't know? <laughs> Stop playing dumb, you old fuck. Where is it? Where is it? Stimikara, do you know where it is? <laughs> so he, the toe, I literally just grabbed dad by the collar and was like, tell me the truth, you fuck. Stop lying to me. But like, dad's like, I, I don't know. <laughs> I'm just existing here, man. But... Why did he post so hard last episode at the end then? What the fuck is that? He gave us this, like, the meanest fucking strut by the ocean with the red lighting looking back at us. I'm like, oh my god, he must be the villain. Well, that aura, bro, it's a red herring. No. <laughs> but he's not aware. The culprit is Kamiju Toya, but... <laughs> Memory erasure? This is it. Our house. But all collected together. Baby, should we mention again? Yo, Stimikado was talking something about like he, how he knows some sort of Feng Shui shit too, right? I don't even know what the fuck Feng Shui really is. Hold up. Feng Shui, what is that? Feng Shui is sometimes called Chinese Geomancy. What the fuck is a Geomancy? Now I gotta search up what a Geomancy is. It's a traditional form of Geomancy that originated in ancient China. What the fuck does that mean, bro? Basic principles. Pursuit of balance and harmony. This philosophy emphasizes the equilibrium between the five elements. Wood, fire, earth, metal, and water. That doesn't tell me shit, bro. <laughs> harmony. Balance. Feng Shui. Okay. Okay. The Guardian. Turtle metal. The different elements. We just talked about the elements. Alright, the house is a temple, bro. So can we just touch the ground right now? Can we literally just imagine break my house? Do we have to go around touching every fucking relic? Do we have to shatter that shit? So, it's all random? So hold up, Angel Fall literally just happened by chance. Dad wanted to basically do good things for Tomo and collected all this garbage. But it turns out like, bro, it's, it's like... <laughs> 
it, it, it turned it, it, it turned to be in the specific positions to create Angel Falls, and it could have been even worse. Is that lucky or is that unlucky? I'm I'm not really sure. Um, I think um F E N G. Now that I think about it, it's not Fang. It's it's pronounced more Fung, like F U N G. There's like a Fung Feng Shui. I don't fucking know. Oh, gee, okay. I see. I do know. Hold up. Feng Shui. Pronounce. Feng Shui. Pronounce it. Come on. Feng Shui. <laughs> do you hear that? One more time. Pronounce it. No, 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 come on. Say it. Say it. Come on. Feng Shui. You heard that? Feng Shui. Feng Shui. All right. Sure. Sure. Google. You, all right. That's how you say it. Dad. We're gonna kill Dad? No. You're gonna beat Dad up? Are we gonna actually beat up Dad? There it is. He said the line again. I'll let me cut, cut through that illusion first. That's his signature line. Let me break that illusion of yours. But Chimikana literally said, like, we need a sacrifice. Like, that was gonna be the sacrifice. He wanted to fuck that up there. How strong is he? <laughs> oh, the fire! Toma! He's pretty strong. I can't believe we've. I can't believe we just. Immediately, two hit combo, just punch, elbow, done. Ooh. Yo, dad, throw hands. Dad, throw hands. What you gonna do about it, old man? Chimikado is such a fucking menace right now, bro. He's just destroying dad and son. He literally told Toma, come on, you, don't, you can't fucking beat me, bro. Boom, done. Don't make me laugh. You don't think that you can take me, do you, bro? This guy's a fucking menace to society. How? Okay. That's a wholesome line, but like, we gotta still beat him. Oh. There we go. Maybe at the end of the day, Shimikado is actually doing, you know, father-son therapy session. He might seem to be a villain right now, but by being the villain, the son and the father can unite. Alright, we're enemies! Oh my god, he's so good! Yeah, it's not even close. Holy shit, I thought that first round was like, lucky? No, like, it's not even close. Like, this dude... Is so much better than us of fighting. It's crazy the gap. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, she might go. Fight back, come on. She's too good. Holy shit. <laughs> I can't believe that actually threw hands. I was like, come on, throw some hands, dad. Come on, get in there, dad. He did. He just brutalized the senior, bro. Oh my gosh, Jimmy Cutter, you menace. <laughs> Ooh. I ain't gonna lie, this makes me like Blondie even more. Ever since the opening ending reactions, I stated that the blonde guy in the Hawaiian t-shirt might be one of my favorite characters. Just the, the whole like vibe he has, the nonchalant way. He seems like he's like a very mysterious, super important character. Him beating the shit out of Toma and his dad is hilarious. This is gonna go down in the fucking history books. So, 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 so. You magic again? If you use magic again, you're gonna get injured. Origami? Huh. Are we sealed? What's going on? The pistol. This is a gun? This, this is a gun right now. The pistol is complete. Now let's load it with the bullets. Who are the bullets? Is it us? I don't know. I'm reading what he's saying, but nothing is making sense. <laughs> the, mm, okay, the pistol is a barrier? The, I, okay? Okay, sure. It'll hurt him, right? He can use it, but it'll hurt him. Oh. There it is. That's what happens when an Esper tries to use magic, right? Can 
Can we just destroy the magic circle rather than killing the caster who may be dead? She be mad. Damn, he's looking rough though. Look at this blood loss. With my forms? What is that? He literally said, with my forms, I can blow away the ritual grounds. What's his forms? Why don't you just do that then? Is I, I'm kind of confused on what he's doing right now. I thought that he was just trying to like kill the dad because like the dad's supposed to be like the caster. If you kill the caster or you, you know, you destroy the ritual ground, you're saying that you can do it. Why don't you do it? Why is he making it sound like he's still going to kill the dad? Is it just like misleading us and trying to be like a bad guy? Did I just get baited? Did I just get baited? Bye. Was that the ritual ground? I thought her house was the ritual ground. I don't know. Angel Falls is over though. So, why does Chimi kind of beat the shit out of his dad and mom? Yeah, I think we destroyed a house, which is supposed to be the ritual ground, right? Yeah, he shot the house down. Why, why, why did he, why did, why, why, why the fuck did he beat the shit out of her dad, though? Did he just want to fuck shit up? <laughs> he, he just wanted to brutalize a son and father in the same room. <laughs> and he's like, ha, 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 I lied. I'm going to destroy the ritual ground now. I beat the shit out of you for fun. Bye bye. <laughs> Stimikado the goat. Yeah, maybe Toma would have tried to stop Stimikado there, but it's fucking hilarious. And we didn't get to see Kanzaki release Stigmata. I wanted to see exactly what it is. The saint, priest, is the power of the god, but she basically just yapped hard. And what do we know? Cross, church, cross, can't kill angel, Japanese Shinto. Japanese Shinto, that's why she can. Alright. Happy ending. <laughs> I mean, this is more steamy kado, but okay. Also, our new house is just done. It's just blown up. What the fuck? Do we have insurance? Dad. <laughs> Blood. That's not from him, though. It's from steamy kado. Yo, Blondie got fucked up using this magic. Frog? Frog doctor? Yeah, the frog. Look, it's the same room again. What's <laughs> Oh, I'm not. Blondie's gonna be fine. I think that's Timmy Kettles will be fine. He'll be patched up. Come there it is. There, 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 there. <laughs> He's literally doing better than you, bro. What the fuck? He recovered so fast. This show is so troll, man. It looked like another lie. Oh, fuck you. You can regenerate your body? But the ability is this the Esper power? Is the regeneration the Esper power? Because. He used to be a magician, but then went to Academy City, right? As like a secret agent of the church. And now he's been pumped full of drugs and shit, created his own personal reality. He has Esper power. He can regen. And he still uses magic. And the, the consequence of an Esper using magic is the self-harm, but he can regenerate. So there's no consequence. This is fucking busted. Bro can he use his magic and still fucking, you know, recover himself. Alright. I can tell you are a big liar. How many times have I been duped in this fucking room? This fucking hospital room has gotten me like 17 separate times now by now. Straight up, every time we wrap up on our Thomas injury, we go to the hospital and the fallout is happening. I'm giving fed information. I'm like, oh no, what's gonna happen? Oh no. And it's like, it was a lie. Wah, wah. And you know what the crazy about this lie is? I think that this is what's happening with Stata right now, right? Because he's supposed to be church member, yet he is working with Alistair, who seems to be more science based. Now, my assumption is that because Alistair speaks so highly of science that Stata is, you know, double dipping, but that might not be the case. He could just be a very reliable church member that's also doing some extracurricular activity. That's right. Everything in the world. Oh, dad, mom, a real mom. Hello. Hey, where's her sister at? 
あまらすよと姫慣れてるしあらあら怪我やあるわ It's a bit too late for that mom We're gonna be this is literally like the ending scene in every arc Like we're always gonna be in this room I'm just missing the frog doctor right now 元気そうでよかったあ,あ父さん家は消えてなくなったが<笑> hey, What are we gonna do with the house bro? That's no joke Our house just blew up The fuck? Do you know how expensive a house is? They're homeless. What are they gonna do? Yeah. Chimikado blew it up. The ritual site. Yeah. And then he's gone. Old house. I got multiple houses. They're fine. That's like an Index. Hey, you should come meet our mom and dad. There seems to be something important about that place, though, the rental unit or something, the place that they used to have and had Toma, and then immediately Index showed up. I'm not sure if there's any sentimental value. I don't think we've ever been there, right? Maybe it doesn't matter. Really? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we did. <laughs> But you, no, 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 no. This abuse doesn't count. No, no, no. You bite us all the time. You literally slap the jellyfish on my head. No, no, no. Index has been abusing us way, way harder. We, we did do that. <laughs> yeah, we, 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 did, we, did, we, did, we did a lot of it. We fucked Index up this arc action, man. I think about it. But I was just laughing off because I was seeing Aogami, but that was still Index. <laughs> There's the bite. There's the chomp. I think because she bites, it's fair. And that is the end of the Angel Fall arc. And this is a very unique arc. I think it was a nice change of pace because we just had one of the most hype arcs so far for me, which was the whole Misaka clones, accelerator Toma, right? That shit was so hype. And then. You know, we're, we're just peak peak, and I'm not saying that this is like, you know, a downturn, but like a completely different arc, goofy random shenanigans happening, murder mystery, getting a little bit more introductions for even what Chimikaro's doing, Kanzaki yapping out her ass and stuff like that. It was cool. It was a nice arc. It was funny. It was mysterious. And <laughs> I think Chimikaro, I think, is definitely the MVP. The, the fact that he fucked up both Toma and his dad. He didn't need to. Maybe Toma would have tried to stop him if he tried to use his magic like that. That's one line of thinking of like why he beat the shit out of Toma. But why dad? There was no need to fuck up dad, bro. Toma, I just, I just... Nah, I just felt like beating the shit out of you and your fucking dad. Because I can. Chimmy got the goat. And that's it. We're entering a New York after this. I hear that it's going to be so peak and I'm all for it. That's it for me. If you're still here, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content. And until next time, take care.